We're going to play two clips back to back. Uh, they're from Father Ripperger. The first one is the way communists attack our children. And it's the same tactic, the way demons attack our children as well. Mr. Engineer, can you play the clip? One of the things that demons do is that they attack the institution of marriage. And we're going to come back to that later in this series. But for now, the reason that we want to observe that they attack marriage is in order to harm and damage the children, because they know if they can harm them or damage them in relationship to the marriage of the parents, that when they're young, then they will have a greater opportunity to possibly control them in the future. In other words, when people are wounded or damaged, that is, because that's what wound is. Wound is a kind of a damage on the skin, etc. But it's the same thing true in relationship to psychology. Demons know that if you can wound a person when they're young, their psychological faculties don't function in a normal way. And as a result of that, they're more easily controllable and manipulatable. Sin, trauma, abuse on the side of parents and others is the way in which children are formed in the minds of the demon to be susceptible to doing whatever they want them to do. In other words, you just weaken them, and then that way you can just control them. Bella Dodd observed that one of the first institutions that the communists took over in the United States was the educational system. Communists know that you have to go after the children in order to gain control and the formation of the children and the direction that the children are likely to go politically. It, quote, takes a village. Constant government involvement or control over the children, their education, etc., is what communists try to do. They want to control. The, in fact, parents are viewed as bad. You have to get them away from the parents in order to form them. This is one of the clearest signs of Marxist communist thinking. Communists have a long-term plan. They're very patient. Just like demons are very patient. They will take their time to build their case. Communists have a long-term plan. Uh, and it is necessary in the public order to combat them that those who have vigilance over the nation, their family, etc., must be willing to have longevity. They must be willing to go the distance. It's not something you're just going to clear out and then you're done. Battling communists once they've gotten in is a long term process in their willingness to maintain vigilance. People have to be willing to be able to maintain a vigilance and to fight for the good of their children so that the communists don't end up making their lives miserable. Mr. Engineer, can you play the second clip? One of the common warfare tactics is simply to divide and conquer. So if you can break off a segment of a battalion from the rest of the battalion, you can very often take them out much more quickly. And this is one of the primary tactics that demons use is to divide and conquer. Now, this is done by making the individual feel like he is alone, that there's nobody who shares his view or understands him. Division is first brought about by affecting people's perceptions. You see this in marriage all the time. The first thing that demons do is attack the perceptions that the spouses have of each other in order to divide them psychologically. And then the division in them uh, externally in the marriage can happen later. But you have to first divide them psychologically. You cannot get people to divorce each other unless their perceptions of each other are contrary to the reality or contrary to the individual. Division is brought up about by affecting the perception of the individual in relationship to others for others in relationship to the individual or others in relationship to the individual. So basically what this means is it's all about perceptions. In the Communist Manifesto, at the very root of the, the full foundation of the Communist Manifesto is based upon a class struggle. So it pits one class against another by its very thing. The first thing it tries to do is, is get people's perceptions that they're against each other. That's the first thing that it does. It does it by class warfare, which is just a form of divide and conquer. This is also why communists cause division by race when it doesn't need to be. They cause division by uh, various other aspects, by ethnicity, by country of origin, etc. They are causing the division 
Uh, uh, and they cause this by, in the division in the news media outlets by constantly talking about the racial divide. If you keep talking about it, you'll start affecting people's perceptions about our country. So this is why Morgan Freeman said one of the first ways to stop having difficulties among race relations is to stop talking about it, right? <laughs> Let things settle down because the constant talking about it maintains the perceptions. And as a result, the communists use that in order to to divide and conquer. Part of the reasons for the hypocrisy and double standards is to foment unrest. We've talked about hypocrisy and double standards. The reason they do that is to foment unrest and division. When people see that politicians get to commit crime after crime after crime and nothing is ever done about it over the course of time, and there's a double standard that they get to do stuff that other people don't get to do. You know, they get to go have their hair done when other people don't get to have their hair done, things like that. Or they get to go to walk in a park, as one mayor recently did after he had closed down the parks. People that divide is done in order to create the division. They do it on purpose to create the division so that it can be used. Now, sometimes they're just doing it for selfish reasons. But in the end, the communists use that because then they can use that as to create the strife in which they can then seize power. Anytime you see people trying to create division, it's a pretty good sign that you're dealing with a communist or a communist group. These are 47 short little two, three minute videos put out by Father Ripperger. And they're, they're interesting because what he does is he compares communist behavior with demonic behavior. And, and remember, people don't realize that Father Ripperger is trained as a psychologist, that he was, he was doing psychology before he became an exorcist. What happened, he was in Tulsa, Oklahoma, and his bishop saw, wow, this guy's really good at psychology but he's got the Catholic Thomistic background. So what happened is uh, exorcists from all, he was not even an exorcist yet. Exorcists from all over the country were asking him questions about possession and how the diabolical operates in psychology and the psyche of the person. And that Father Ripperger wrote his first book. It was called the, uh, the, the, the Science of Mental Health. It's a psychology book for exorcists. He wrote it as a non-exorcist and it's used all over the country by exorcists because they're saying, Man, this young priest from Tulsa, Oklahoma, this guy understands the St. Thomas psychological component of how the demon inter- interrelates with the human person. And it was at that moment where basically you had very respected exorcists from all over the country. They're asking him questions about the psycholo- the, the, the diabolical uh, psychological component of, of the possession. And Father would explain it to him in his book. And uh, that's how the, the, the Tulsa, Oklahoma bishop said, you know what? We need you to be the uh, exorcist here from uh, for Tulsa, Oklahoma. And then that's when they opened up the Pope Leo XIII school. And they asked him, this book that you wrote, people need, for, exorcists need to understand this, the psychological attack on the mind from the demon. And so he started the Pope Leo XIII Institute. So these are, every lay Catholic should watch these. 47 two or three minute clips where he explains it's they're short. He explains the, the way demons attack the mind and he goes into detail in these two, three minute videos. And, and, and especially people that are, that are in deliverance teams should watch this because it'll give them a deeper understanding as to how to treat them, treat the penitents. And what's interesting is, uh, is again, as, as, as the father says that you can't separate the mind from the actual diabolical affliction, because that's exactly what they attack is the mind. So, uh, uh, yeah, Eddie, this, uh, you know, I want to just promote this to people out there, even for, for people's personal catechesis, you know, this is even something to do like at a, at a, at a Catholic men's group, you know, at a formation night or something, watch these videos, sit around and discuss them so we could understand. And what's interesting, I like, he, sh- he says that the de- the de- demonic behavior is exactly like the communist manifesto. And he, he always quotes the communist manifesto when it says godlessness, big government, uh, take away people's rights, separate families. He goes, when you look at the communist manifesto, it's exactly the way demons operate. He goes, in my 17 years as an exorcist, this is exactly the way they operate. And then, of course, he always kind of dog whistles. He doesn't say it outright. Doesn't say it outright, but he always dog whistles that our government <clears throat> is exactly what he's describing right now. So it, it's it's interesting. You can read you can read through what he's saying about the Biden administration 
and that it's completely diabolical. Yeah. And just it should be no secret to us that we have you know some political leanings and we if we listen to what's going on daily, uh, <laughs> we should know that that they have people that are that are saying this on, on his administration. So it shouldn't be a surprise for us, right? Um, but yeah, just I, I have seen a couple of these. I haven't seen them all, but I, I know that there's 47 now because you said it, and I think I'm going to listen to it because you know uh, it's important for us to understand these little these little uh, intricacies, Jess, because yeah. by not understanding them, we can get taken away and, and distracted from what's important and i think that's what he does here it brings us to uh, where we belong yeah, yeah yeah absolutely great great video yeah all right we're done that's a wrap jesus 911 two man car we'll see you next week we are eow our shift is over end of watch we are out <laughs>